Hey, it's HJ, and today I have a super special treat for you guys. Um, I was on my computer working and looking through the different videos that I've done, and I found a completely filmed and edited vlog, and I was like, this is perfect. I want to use this. I listened to it, and I realized, although it looks old, it's probably six or seven months old, maybe even more, and I do look a bit different but is it exact it is exactly everything I would say today if I were to sit down and refilm that vlog which I contemplated but then I was like no it's kind of cool to see that it's like dang I was doing it okay look at me look at me go <laughs> if you are interested in hearing a biblical perspective on missional friendships then make sure to stay tuned so missional friendships are completely different from missional dating so please do not get the two mixed because it won't work. <laughs> Maybe you go on a study at Starbucks four times a week and you always see that barista, Jennifer, her name tag. She has a little star next to it. Jennifer, the little star. And you're like, I wanna be her friend. She doesn't know Christ. I wanna build a relationship with her and I wanna hopefully see her come to know Christ and see her come to know salvation. Build a friendship with this person to be intentional, to be on mission, and to share the gospel with them. It's that simple. It's that easy. I'm going to talk about Colossians 4, 5 through 6. Walk in wisdom towards outsiders, making the best use of the time. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. I love that it starts with walk in wisdom. That is in two things. One, know your scripture, but also just do this wisely. Whenever you're walking to a relationship, be wise about it. If you're a girl, don't go make some deep, crazy, intimate friendship with a guy for the sake of the gospel. That's missional dating. Be wise. Girls talk to girls. Guys talk to guys. Why? Because we protect our hearts and because we protect other people's hearts. Don't just go into their uh, apartment whenever they're having some party and everybody is getting drunk and getting higher doing crazy stuff like be wise about it be within your bounds of christ so you can be a friend you can invite somebody to coffee you can you know love on them and share your life with them but just be wise about the things that you say and the places that you go and what you allow to happen in your friendship it says okay walking with them towards outsiders making the best use of the time so making the most of your opportunity like go in with a game plan i'm not saying you have to have like a military grade plan going on here be on a mission don't just go in and say all right i'm going to build this friendship but stop short of actually sharing the gospel some people will say well that's not genuine you're just their friend because you want to get them saved you're just their friend because you want to bring them to church what do you mean? Yeah, I want to be their friend because I want them to get saved. That is the most beautiful, loving thing that you can do for anybody. The most genuine thing you can do is be somebody's friend because you care for their soul. If your heart is pure behind it, there is nothing wrong with saying, I want to be friend this person because I hope that they come to know the saving grace of Jesus Christ. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. So then the next part, la 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 la. Okay, let your speech always be gracious. Please, with all that is within my heart, I have been this person, I'm telling you from experience, I have been the person that was super zealous for Christ with no wisdom and no grace and no love in the way that I spoke to them. We hold the truth and yes, they don't have it, but we need to make sure that we're not talking down on somebody just because they don't know and that we're talking to somebody right here on the same playing field with love and with grace, remembering that that was you, that you were without salvation, you were without hope, you were that person living in sin with no care in the world for who Christ was or what he deserved as being God and giving salvation. And just remember that. Keep yourself humble, remembering that you're no better than them. You just have hope and they don't. And your prayer is that they will find that hope. Colossians. Then it goes on. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt. And so, you know, in Matthew 5, it says that we are the salt of the earth. We are the light of the world. And that's after the Beatitudes above it. So it was just talking about how to be Christ-like, how to be Christ-like, how to be Christ-like. And then boom, you are the salt of the earth. You are Christ to people. And so make sure the words that you're saying are edifying to God first before anything. You let your speech be seasoned with salt. It literally could have just said, like, be Christ-like. So remember that. 
so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. If you're answering a person, that means they're questioning you. So right here, this is showing that your conversation is coming to Christ at some point. You're talking about God. You're talking about truth. You're talking about Christianity. You're talking about the gospel. If they're asking a question, then that must have came from somewhere. So you're doing something right. Questions are good. Know your word. Know the truth know how to articulate the truth like i said it doesn't need to be perfect you don't need to be a scholar but at some level you need to know how to answer questions that are coming to you we're here to to love somebody past the sin that they're in like christ has loved us past the sin that we were in we're here to share the good news we're here to hope and to pray for them and pray 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 for them don't do this without praying for somebody <laughs> Pray for them that they would come to know Christ and they would come to love him and put away their sin and take up their cross. And that's just what it's all about. So I hope you enjoyed my video on missional friendships, even though it was filmed seven months ago, but it was still a really good video. And if you are interested in seeing more, hearing more, learning more, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, make sure to share it to everybody who you think that this could encourage their lives. Subscribe, like, share, and yeah, I'll be back next week with an up-to-date vlog with this version of me.